What's up everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on iRacing on the PC. So we are starting the iRacing career here on the channel. So the reason is is there's some big things happening in the channel very shortly with iRacing. So we were in here trying to get our first few races in this is actually the first race I did race it and now we're gonna talk about it a little bit here today so my goals for the, my first race in the rookie class because you have to get your license up was to be as clean as possible get as limited amount of instance points as I can I qualified in fourth and we were just waiting on grid getting ready for the start of the race I had my little timing down there so I could see when the race was gonna start so I knew these four drivers in front of me were a lot faster than me so I ended up getting a very very good jump off the start I hesitated a little bit like oh do I really want to do this but like I said my goal was to get the least amount of instant points as I can I was in the oculus rift s on the on the fan attack at 900 degrees with full you know gas brake clutch shifter in the mx5 cup so I did realize that my cursor was actually in the middle of the screen so if you see that in the middle of the screen I apologize couldn't actually see it in my headset so more videos I will make sure those are gone like I said we are doing a lot of um, big things on the channel here with iRacing so like I said we were in the uh, MX-5 Cup at Laguna Seca that guy lost it over the curb and I was like oh cool but I looked in my mirror and that guy was right on my tail. So I knew he was much faster, so I kind of stayed high, let him take the inside, because I knew I didn't want to fight him too much, because like I said, I was just trying to get no instant points. I wasn't really trying to fight for the win in this first race, because this is my first official race in iRacing, and I didn't want to wreck out. I didn't want to get DQ'd. I didn't want to get too many incident points, because I'm trying to get my DNC class license and stuff like that. Because if you're not familiar with iRacing and the way it works is you start off at a 2.5 safety rating and the more incident points you get, the lower your safety rating can go. And you have to get up to a certain safety rating in the class that you're in and level to get the next license at the end of the season or get an auto license if you're at a certain you know, safety rating. So the more incident points you get, the lower your safety rating. That can be caused by going off track hitting another car, spinning out, losing control. So my goal was to not hit anybody. Now, there is other ways to get incident points by like going off track and stuff like that. You can protest it if somebody hits you really hard and you know it wasn't your fault. So right now we're just sitting comfortably in second place. I knew there was another guy behind me because using my mirrors in the Rift S. Right here is a very sketchy moment. The car kind of gets a little loose. I was able to gain control of it and not lose the car. I got off gas, got off clutch, you know, made sure that I kind of let it drift a little bit but didn't let it snap back on me. And after that I was like, alright, let me dial back a little bit more, I'm not going to catch that guy because I was trying to catch him through the first turn. So I'm like, I'm not going to catch him, he's much faster than me, maybe he'll make a mistake. So we were pretty much just trying to run a smooth line, I kept looking back which is one thing I got to stop doing, I got to stop driving in my mirror, I got to be more focused on what I'm doing, you know, on the track. So the Rift S is very, very nice to be able to, you know, see your mirrors and see everything around you. I kept adjusting my seat position because I was trying to get the best view. So still trying to figure out some settings and stuff like that. You know, the cars had fixed settings, so everybody was running the same tune. He was just much faster on the line, but like I said, I was not 100% in the car. I was not trying to push my lines too much because I didn't want to run off track. I didn't want to lose points and stuff like that so I was just trying to run a very smooth conservative line I qualified fourth I figured oh that's right that dude lost it and I was like oh man I'm in first and he's back there I'm gonna be able to lead a lap or two before he ends up catching up so I was just trying to run cleanly I didn't want to hit anybody if someone was faster than me I was gonna get out of their way let them pass I didn't really care where I finished in this first race but I was at the point now where I'm like oh dang I'm in I'm in first right now and I got a bit of a lead I was a little bit excited you know you know pumping fist bumping right there like okay I got a lead I get to lead a lap which when it comes down to it it was it was great you know to be able to lead that lap and know that hey I can actually do this now whether he was gonna come back and pass me I didn't know at this point so it was more so trying to just run smooth now I know my line 
my racing line is not exact and my breaking points and I could probably be taking these turns a lot faster like here I could probably not break could probably just lift and drift out onto that outer part of that rumble but like I said I was trying to stay on track I was trying not to crash because getting in dirt in these cars or really any car is very very treacherous and you will lose it instantly so I had also only had probably I want to say 25 minutes behind the wheel of any car here in I racing before I hopped into this first ranked race. I did do like an oval track race and stuff like that and I thought maybe those you know, user created races would give me credit. They don't. You have to do the official races which are every I think every hour or stuff like that and you know those are how you actually get your safety rating. Now right there as you can see one of 17 um, incident points. I did come down that turn and clip the dirt. Didn't lose control, but I was technically off track, so I did get one incident point. I ended up getting two incident points on the whole race, which to me was actually very good, and two of those were for track cuts. Now, the second incident points, which you guys will see a little bit later in the race, was it was kind of an evasive maneuver. Um, that's all I'm going to say. Um, and if you looked in the mirror when I looked up, that guy's catching me. So he did spin out, but he was able to bring back, you know, and come back. These MX-5 Cup cars, the Global Cup cars, very fun driving cars, amazing cars to drive. Just got to get used to the physics and the grip level of high racing because it is a hardcore sim. Did uh, mess up my shifting there. I think because I have, I have auto blip turned on, I think it was causing some issues when I was actually shifting. So I think I need to turn that off. So I am keep looking in the mirror because I want to give him a clean line. So I kind of ease through there, slow down. I was going to give him the outer line. He's really close to me. And I was worried he was going to hit me. And then I kind of ease off. He got close and I thought he was going to bash into me, but he didn't. He stayed clean. So I let him by. And then I kind of just filed in behind him because I knew him and those two other drivers were much faster than I was. And I wasn't going to try and fight them for position because I knew if I tried to fight them, tried to block them, there was going to be some serious issues and either I was going to wreck or I was going to hit them. They were going to get in. I don't want to do that. I'm trying to race clean. I'm trying not to you know, cause accidents because I want to get my license and I want to keep my safety ratings up because that's how what you need to do. You need to be a clean driver. And that's something I've been working on religiously with a couple of my buddies and stuff like that about racing clean whether it's with AI or other cars with them, trying not to, you know, be too aggressive, try to be patient and wait for them to make a mistake in front of you or find that perfect turn where you know you are much faster. So getting a little bit more into the hardcore simulation racing is definitely helping my racing lines and stuff like that. My doggo over here squeaking a toy like, yep, yep, you were uh, losing to that man. That man was passing you. So... The Oculus Rift S is definitely very good for, um, you know, perspectives in racing. And um, if you guys watched the other video I had before about, are you faster in a Rift S? Well, I did find out when I was in iRacing, I was a little bit faster with the Rift S. I was going to make a video about being on a monitor with Rift S and do Rift S first on a track and then go to the monitor. So it's not like I got more practice. This was a dicey time where he was inside. I laid off way off the throttle to let him pass me. I was worried that he was going to drift up into me, but he was going to hold his line. I didn't have to worry about him too much. He is a clean driver. So kudos to him for being you know, a clean driver and passing me clean. So at this point, we're in third, and I figured this is probably where I was going to end up staying, was in third place, because fourth place guy was nowhere to be found, and well, I just was not sure if I was going to be able to pass these guys. The dog is going ham over there with that squeak toy. So, the one thing I did notice recently with the Oculus Rift S is I'm more getting more and more comfortable with it, and I'm not noticing any type of, you know, face sweating or dizziness or anything like that. And it's becoming much easier for me to drive in this, you know, in any racing game with it. And I know a lot of people are probably going to be like, your line is way off. And I know my line, my racing line here at uh, Laguna Seca was off on this race. Um, I am going to go back and watch some other drivers' racing lines. I'm going to watch some of the actual Mix 5 Cups for the actual racing lines so I can dial my racing line in a little bit better because I feel like if I had a better racing line, I could be a lot faster. I keep having to adjust my position in my seat, so I think I need to start wearing 
maybe shoes on my pedals so that my heels don't slip on the metal plate or maybe put some grip pads on the metal plate where my heels sit because they're causing me to slide around a little bit which isn't going to cause that much of an issue when it comes to um, lap times or anything like that it's just something that was starting to bug me so for the remainder of the race I kind of just knew I was not going to catch them so I was just going to run my line and just you know try being as clean as possible not cut the tracks not do anything like that because well I didn't want to cause any more incidents points than I had now like I said I do get one more by the end of the race but it was kind of an avoidance so we're going to let you guys watch a little bit of the driving here for a second and I'm going to take a second and just let you guys enjoy the sound and the look of iRacing because it is a fun game if you guys don't play iRacing because it is uh, a bit expensive with the subscription and everything for the year and all the cars but it's an amazing game if you're really into hardcore sim and a lot of the pro drivers and everything are using them so enjoy this course crew moment and this uh hat the rest of the half lap and then we'll come back and do a little more commentary on the racing here on iRacing So if you do notice in the wheel cam, my, uh, I did have the window open and the drape kind of was blowing into my perspective. I didn't realize it until it hit my hand. Uh, so like I said, there's a couple things that I need to adjust when I'm using the Rift S because there's some things that I don't notice in the real world, I would say. So if you guys are not subscribed to the channel, which I know a lot of you guys aren't because, well, I can just tell. Make sure you tap that subscribe button. And I do appreciate all the support. If you guys want to help support the channel, all you gotta do is subscribe, tap that like button. That's all I ask. You don't gotta donate money. You don't gotta do anything like that. Just subscribe to the channel. Come back, watch the videos. That's all you need to do to support this channel. And I would definitely appreciate it. Like I said, big things coming here to the channel with iRacing and stuff like that. Don't want to tell you any more than that. But some big things are coming. So this is gonna be a point where I get another incident point. Now I say it was evasive, and at the time I thought it was. But this guy was going into into the, you know, the and he kind of went way off track and I kind of cut it because I was worried that he was going to lose it and hit me so I did get a black flag slow down section too where I had to slow down and go down to a certain speed because I cut the track and I did get my second incident point but it was either that or I was probably going to barrel right into that guy because well I didn't want to hit him so we did get our second incident point but that was our only other final incident point of the day for our first race, our first official race here on iRacing in our career. So if you look in the mirror, there's an orange MX-5 back there. He's actually fourth place. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to let him pass because he was one of the other cars that was I knew was faster than me. So I was like, I got a couple laps to go. I could probably just let him pass and, you know, take fourth. So I was just going to continue to run my smooth line and not worry about it I know I kept looking in the mirror looking at him seeing how close he's gonna get because I was trying to if he got really close give him the clean line to pass I wasn't gonna try and block him I didn't want to like I said many times cause a wreck because I'm just trying to be clean and be smooth so if I work on my racing line and work on my braking zones and get more comfortable in the cars I probably will be able to run much faster lap times and be very 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 competitive because my lines are are close they're not perfect but they are close I'm just not as aggressive coming out of some of the turns like here I probably don't have to break as much and I could probably clip that and run it a much wider there and much faster but I'll get there so definitely very impressed with how the cars drive and you know why wouldn't I be I racing is the pinnacle of racing sims they dedicate all to racing and that's why all the pros and all the you know professional drivers and all the big main teams and the biggest mainstream esports use iRacing. 
So a couple of my buddies and I are going to be racing and I racing. I'm not going to give you any more than that, but things are going to happen to the channel hopefully very soon, and uh, it will be a big deal. So we got to two more laps to go, and I'm like, okay, we got two laps. This guy is a little bit behind me. I might be able to hold him off. So I keep checking my mirror to see how he gets off the turn. And like I said, it's a bad habit that I need to stop doing. So that's one thing I need to stop doing. The second thing I need to stop doing is, well, I guess not practicing the race line. I need to get more into practice and practice the race line to get my times down in a situation where incident points wouldn't be an issue on like test driving because test driving doesn't go against your race records so I could push the car to limits and see what the limits of the car are and the track before I actually go into one of these ranked races which would give me a better chance of you know finishing higher even though I say finishing higher but at the end of this race we did get a very good finishing position we started fourth with qualifying which was a pretty good deal I was pretty excited to qualify fourth now some people didn't qualify but you know they were trying to probably stay in the back and I was thinking about not qualifying either or qualifying bad and staying in the back and just running my race because running the race cleanly with no incident points regardless of your finish will still increase your driver ranking because you had no incident points you optimize your time on the track and everything like that so we're coming around to you know to the final lap I was super excited about it ended up Finishing third overall in the race was definitely a very good race for me and you know a great way to start my racing series. Unfortunately, I was number nine, not number seven, because somebody had my number seven. So the one thing you don't hear in the game um, is the actual spotter. So when I'm using my Rift S, my game audio is coming through my surround sound for the car, but my spotter is in the headset of my Rift S, which is really cool that the spotter is just there. It's kind of like I actually had a headset in with the mics in. So when I did do racing in um, autocross or when I was on the track at Daytona and Sebring when I had the helmet with the crew chief and spotters in my ears, it's kind of, you feel the car, you hear the car outside of the car, but they're just in your head. So the Rift S does a very cool job of putting the spotter in your head and everything else outside. So make sure you guys follow my Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. I'm gonna let you guys watch this final lap here I'm Laguna Sega in the UX5 and I Racing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to keep seeing more, tap that like button. I would appreciate all the support. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. That's the only way you need to support me and support the channel and the content. So as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.